Hello, good evening. Hi, Marina. Hi, Christian. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you today? Fine, fine. Fine, great. Was it a great day? Uh, yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> It's Friday, just by being Friday, it's, it's a great day, actually, right? Do you work tomorrow? No, no? I don't. No, I don't. That's why it's a great day. Okay, pretty cool. Um, great, nice to see you. Hello, Patricia. How was your day? Hello. My day was very tired because I am a lot of work and for finally the outcome for my clan, my my clients in uh -huh. Ecuador. Wow, yes. so today uh, a lot of work for you. You have a lot of work. Yes. Okay, I mean, but it's Friday. Do you work tomorrow? Um, yes, but because I have a shop online, I have a receipt page and same page. Uh, other uh, departments. Oh, so you have to go to other departments to take your product? Department. Yes. Oh, really? What do you sell? Yes. Sorry? What do you sell? I sell lencería. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, uh, that's, that's, that's interesting. Maybe for a girlfriend around there, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, interesting. What's the name of your page? It's Marbonielo, Marbonielo Shop. Marbonielo Shop. Yes, in Instagram, Facebook, and I use my personal WhatsApp. <laughs> okay, let me let me just look for it. I mean, Marbonielo Shop. Oh, only Marbonielo. It's uh. Um. Does he have a picture that it says Marbonielo? Oh I, think, oh, I think that I found it. I think this is the one. I don't know. I mean, um, well, no, I'm not going to share it because if I share it, it's going to be in the recording. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not going gonna, to gonna share it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think that I found it. Okay. I'm going to like it right now. Okay, cool. Uh, so anyway, uh, great. Uh, Gabriel, how are you doing today? Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Um, great, teacher. Great. Okay, perfect. Hey, what happened with the background of the Simpsons? No background of the Simpsons today. No? It's, it's the Qatar. Ah, so the World Cup. Okay, today we are with the World Cup. Okay, good. That's really good. Uh, Marina, who are you today? Good, teacher. Great. How was your day? Good? Great. So, so? Great yes. Day? Okay, and the birthday, Party. the birthday party after the the after the class, how was it? I don't know. <laughs> you didn't have it. No. Ah, right, come on. Okay, it's gonna be for the weekend. Um, okay, <laughs> okay, cool. Um, great, guys. Nice to see you, Mabel. How are you? Your teeth are better. Yes, I'm better today. Okay, perfect, perfect. I had never picked up those those. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot how to say muelas. So, but I had never I had never done that. Okay. Um. So let me see, Manuel. How are you? I think Manuel is not there, and Sergio seems kind of busy. Okay. Um. What are you doing, Sergio? Hi teacher, good evening. I have not in my home. Uh, I have problem with my Wi-Fi. Oh, but uh, uh, but you are not at work, right? No, no, I am. I am in home. Okay, cool, cool. That's the best. But, uh, 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 I have a problem with the internet here mm. okay okay but it, it's, i am it's... only with my dad okay but it's really great that you are here okay um hey um angel nice to see you too hello good teacher was how, it a good day how are you 
Uh, excuse me? Was it a good day? Yes, I, I, have have day? A good, I have a good day. Okay, that's really great to know. Um, I know that some of you today will be connected just as listener. Um, and I was telling the rest that when you have difficulties to get connected because of your work or any other thing, try to get connected at, at least as a listener, right? So in that way, um, your minutes connected are going to be there. So you don't get affected um, in your attendance. Because remember, it's only like four times the maximum that you can miss classes. Uh, otherwise, you get affected with the attendance, right? So, in the case that you have problems and you say, "Hey, oh, I cannot get, I cannot be in the class today," but at least get connected, okay? As a listener, okay, you might learn something, or even just, um, well, it's gonna be there your attendance, and that's the important thing, right? Hey, uh, so let's um, go back to business, right? Nice to see you. And here I'm going to share, oops, I was about to share the page, <laughs> but no, that, that page, no. Okay, um, cool. So this is our class 18, right? So, um, so many classes, right, so far, okay? And today we are going to see uh, the phrasal verse, okay? So that's why we're going to see idioms, how to use idioms and how to use phrasal verse. Yesterday we saw the phrasal the idioms. <laughs> Do you remember the idioms we saw yesterday? Yes, no? What was one? Yes. What was one idiom that we saw yesterday? Sick as a dog. As sick as a dog. Very good. That is one. The under the weather was... too. Okay, yes, under the weather. Okay, the one that Marina used in the meme. Do not a whole lot. No. <laughs> okay. eh, take it easy. Take it easy. Right? <laughs> that is another idiom. Okay, very good. So remember, uh, we are going to see phrasal verbs um, today. Now, we are going to see phrasal verbs that are um, suggested by Insafor, but also um, there is a list of phrasal verbs that you can find already there in Schoology. So you can check it and you can download it, okay? But for today, okay, I had one. For example, from the images that we are observing here right now, if I tell you, hey, Marina, switch off the light, please. Which one do you think it is? Would it be this one? This one, this one, this one. The first, the first, first one. one. Okay, switch off the light. Okay, listen, switch off. Okay, good. Now, and if I say turn off, would it be the same? What do you think? What? Do you think it would be the same to say turn off and switch off? Turn off, switch off. Actually, yes, <laughs> they are synonyms. <laughs> okay, Marina was like, no, nah, come on, it's the he same. Is okay. my <laughs> so, uh, it's the same, you say switch off and turn off. Okay, they are synonyms, mm -hmm. but both are phrasal verbs. If I say a difficult one, this is a difficult one. If I say, for example, tighten up, tighten up. For example, I say, hey, Gabriel, that screw is, um, it's not in very well right now, please tighten up. Okay, it's a little bit loose. Do you know the meaning of a screw? Mm, no, teacher. Okay, don't worry. Um, a screw is, um, well, we have to show you the image then. Okay, this is a screw. Do you see it? Okay. Yes, yes. So I will use it like this. Let me see if I have this um, here, there. Okay, the screw is this one. 
Okay. And if I tell you, hey, Gabriel, um, this screw is very loose, loose, sorry. Can you tighten up? What is what are you doing in that one? What do you think? Don't worry, Gabriel. Don't worry. Choose a partner, Gabriel. Así, pásale la bola a alguien. <laughs> Um, um, you can choose one, uh, or I choose. Uh, no. uh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Christian, what do you think? This is the screw, this one. And I tell you, hey, uh, Christian, the screw is loose. Can you tighten up? Uh, is release or oh the opposite of release the opposite of release right oh that's a very good the very good word the one that you use christian thank you okay the opposite of release okay um so it's tighten up okay so when you have a screw and you start tightening up okay uh you get the meaning yes no so so okay um, let me try another one. Let me see. For example, just to clarify, okay? Here we have this is going to be our screw. So you take it and you start tightening up on this way. If you if you do this movement, what are you doing? Are you releasing or you are Mm -hmm. Yes, in this case, I believe uh, we're going to release. We are not releasing. If we do it like on this side, it's releasing. But if we do it on this side, it's uh, okay. the okay. opposite. You understand now? It's turning. Okay, you are turning it um, to the right. I don't want to use the Spanish right now, so but let, 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 let's try to, to get the meaning. Okay, so you have um you have a screw and you are using the wrench, okay, to tighten up. Okay, so um I don't know if you could get it right now. Okay, if not, don't worry. We're going to see more examples, okay? I know this phrase albert is difficult because it's not that obvious. It's not that obvious. Like if I tell you, for example, call up. Hey, as soon as you get to the office, please call me up. What image do you think it is? This one? This is going to be the number one. Image number oh. two. Image number three. Image it's number, number two. Number two. It's number two. Okay. Call up. Okay, that one is easy and it's a phrasal verb. Okay, very good. Now, uh, but if I tell you the other one, which is clean up, the uh, boys are cleaning up the park. Picture five. number five. And the number five. five. And now, if I tell you, for example, seize up. Now, in this one, okay, it's going to be number four, and I will help you with this one. Why? Because it's difficult. Sis up, okay? It's because, do you think you can release this screw? Do you think you could release it? No. It would be hard. It would be hard. Probably it's a stock. So the screw in that one is sis up. You get the meaning? The screw is seize up because we cannot release it. Get the meaning? Yes? More or less. More or less, more or less. Okay, I like it that you be honest and you tell me, okay? We are going to see it in more examples, don't worry, okay? So 
these are just some of the examples of the phrasal verbs that um, we got, but we have more. But now, to start with this one, what is a phrasal verb? Okay, Marina, can you read it? Some verbs are two part, two part, part verbs. They consist on a verb and a participle, parti, particle, part, particle. Or, or small word like a preposition. The particle of them gives a new meaning to the verb. Mm -hmm. For that example, is... mm -hmm. continue. Take plus after. Uh, he takes he takes after his father father he looks the like his father or he he behaves like like his father very good and the last one call blast off Mary call of the meaning meeting Mary called the meeting Mary canceled the meeting, okay? Cancel the meeting. Thank you, Marina. Now, if you see here, what is a phrasal verb in easy words? What is a phrasal verb, okay? It's a verb with a particle, okay? But the particle is the same as a preposition, right? For example, oh, and important, this one gives a new meaning to the verb. For example, what is the meaning of take? You know the meaning of take? Tomar. Exactly. And if we say after? Después. Exactly. But if I say take after, take after, the meaning is that to look like someone, okay? To look like someone else or behave like someone else, okay? For example, let me see. I'm going to ask to um hmm, let me see manuel do you take after your father look at the meaning do you take after your father i understand this Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. That's how we are learning. Uh, let me see. I'm going to ask them, um, Gustavo. Hey, hello, Gustavo. Hello, hello, teacher. Gustavo, how about you? Look at the meaning. Take after means to look like someone else or behave like someone else. So do you take after your father? Yes, I take after my father. Very good. Yes. Uh, let me see. Uh, Mousy, do you take after your mother? Yes. A I... lot or a little? 50-50. Mm, <laughs> 50-50. your father, 50 your mother. Okay. <laughs> Okay, good. So uh, now let me see, Manuel, I come back with you. Do you get the meeting now? Do you take after your father? 50-50. Um, 50-50. 50 your um, mother too? No, no, it's, uh, no. For, for my father and 60 my, 60 my, my mother. <laughs> okay, good. That's good. In my case, I'm like, 80 my father maybe and 20 my mother <laughs> okay so but if you see the meaning is different so in this one we said at the beginning oh take is take something and after hey i see you after the party but if we put them together the meaning changes that is a phrasal verb so how do we know the meaning you have to learn it there is no um, there is no special formula for this. You have to learn it, okay? You have to memorize it. Now, the other example that we have, call off, means to cancel something. 
Okay, for example, Mary called off the meeting. It means that she canceled the meeting. Okay, so let's say you have an appointment with the doctor. I call off my appointment with my doctor. Okay, can you think on an example? Let me see, Elizabeth, can you think on one? Teacher, I have a problem with my cell phone. Can you repeat the question, please? Oh, sure. Can you think on an example with call off? Okay, call off means to cancel something. Um, I call off my day with my boyfriend. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, poor boyfriend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nah, it's a lie, it's a lie. Okay, uh, so you get the meaning of the phrasal verb. Okay, so far so good. Questions? Sure. Yes, tell me. There is a, a specific moment for use for use uh, um, phrasal verbs? No. Or oh, I can use the phrasal verb when, whenever I, I want. You can use, it, use them when, whenever you want. The only thing is in formal language. So it means I that- see, It example, is in formal language. In formal language means that, for example, if you are talking with your friends, not a problem, use phrasal verbs. Or if you are writing something to your friends, use phrasal verbs. But for example, if you are writing a formal paper, formal paper, you have to use the normal words, not the phrasal verbs. It's more recommendable okay. to use the normal words. For example, instead of using, uh, hello boss, I'm writing this paper or this letter because um, I will call off my meeting. No, instead of that, I will cancel my meeting. Okay. So, Teacher, in, in, in the case of a uh, uh, idiom, it is ara informal informal language or phrase? Yes, it will be taken also as informal language. Okay. Most of them, most of them, right? Um, so, but in real English, Americans, the, the American, American people, they use a lot of phrasal verbs. Okay. They use it a lot. Right. So probably if one day you had the opportunity to talk to an American, you will uh, you will hear a lot of phrasal verbs. So and that's why it's important to know the phrasal verbs. Right. OK. okay. So, uh, yes. We can use this phrasal verb uh, in present continuum. Yes. It's a verb. This one is a verb. And because it's a verb, you can conjugate the verb in all the forms. Okay. For okay. example, look at here, it's in past. Mm -hmm. So I will, for example, I will call off my meeting with my friends. That's, hey, uh, wait a minute. I'm calling off the meeting right now with, um, I don't know, with my friends again, okay? So it's happening at the moment, okay? So, okay, any other doubt? Okay, now, um, next one, okay. Here I have like the written difference, so you can see. So the idioms, okay, they are a group of words in a specific order that for an expression, okay. For example, here you have an example of another idiom, okay. Spilling the beans. That means to tell a secret to someone. Hey, you know that um, I don't know. You know that Gustavo, he was spilling the beans with Monica. It does not mean that he was like throwing the beans. No, he was telling the secrets to Monica. Okay, so that is an idiom, remember? And now a phrasal verb is a phrase which consists on a verb combination with either a verb, a preposition, or both. So the particle. For example, hold on means to resist, okay? You see the difference between idioms and between phrasal verbs? 
Yes, doubts, yes, no. Okay. Okay, so them. This will be um, like the difference on them. Now, some common phrasal verbs. Some of them, you already know them. For example, get up. Okay, so to rise from a lying or sitting position. For example, if I tell you, hey guys, get up right now. So you have to stand up, okay? So, but if you see only the word get means, get means? Obtener. Obtener. And if we say up means? Arriba. 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 So if you translate it, it's going to say, obtener arriba. Does not make sense. So that's why the phrasal verb changes the meaning. Okay, so and also there you have some others, okay, like wake up, okay, dress up, okay, so to put on special clothes, okay, um, I don't know, Mabel, dress up, very nice for the party, okay, se vistió muy bien para la fiesta, okay, so dress up really nice for Marina's party, okay, so and then we have show up, okay, would be to arrive somewhere especially without being invited or expected. Hey, uh, Marina was having the party, her birthday party, and suddenly uh, the teacher shot up without invitation, <laughs> okay? So it's to appear like from nowhere, okay? Then you have, for example, pick up, okay? You know this on this, pick up something, okay? Uh, take something. Okay, clean up. We already looked this one. Okay, we already saw it, which is make something clean or tidy. Look up and grow up. Look up to search for information in a book. Uh, for example, um, Roberto, use your dictionary and look up the information. Look at the meaning of this word. So he's going to use a dictionary and look at the meaning. Okay, look for the meaning, for example. And grow up. Okay, that's grow up. I think that you know that one, okay? Uh, questions so far? Okay, cool. Um, then these are some of the common phrasal verbs, okay? And also I wanted to show you this one too. So you see that for example, the verb get can have several meanings depending on the prepositions. For example, if you say get away, to leave or escape, okay? So you can tell a person, hey, get away, please. Get away from here. Or get along with, okay? So here you have the meanings. Let's uh, try something to practice. One minute, one minute. Observe the examples that you have here. Choose one and give me one example sentence. Okay, one example sentence, one minute right now. Um, teacher. Yes, tell me. And in that, uh, get SB down, uh, how it pronoun pronounced? Oh, SB down. Again, get, SB get down. somebody. This is somebody. Sorry, I forgot to tell you this. Uh, this is somebody, for example, here. Rainy Thanks. weather is getting me, that me is the somebody, so is the subject. Okay, thanks. The subject goes in the middle. Sorry, sorry, it's true, forgot that one. Okay, uh, let me see, do you have an example? Let me see, let's try with, let's try with, I'm um, going to ask, oh, well, let's try with Gustavo. Gustavo? Yes, sir. Okay. Choose one of these ones and try to give an example sentence. For example, get throw. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, 
for example, when when the children are in in uh, swimming pools and they are uh, get through the the sliders, is that correct? Mm. Look at the um, the meaning. Yeah, and that is the ones, the only ones uh, meaning. You can have another one, but let's, right now, let's stick to this one so we don't get confused. Okay. Think on one, I'll be back with you. Let me see, um, try with one example. Let me see, Mabel. Uh, Mabel, you could freeze. Oh no, you're moving. <laughs> Whatever. Yes, choose any of them and use it in a sentence. Let's see. Mm, I don't know, maybe I will get around the water. The water. I will get? Around the water. I will get around the water. Okay, it might work actually. Okay, so you will travel all the countries. Okay, good. Um, Mabel, choose a person. Mm. Mm, Marina. Okay, Marina, choose one and use it in a sentence. Okay. I'm trying the head with my class. <laughs> <laughs> I try to get ahead in my class. That's a really good one. Okay, very good, Marina. Um, you're doing great. So choose another one. Um, I mean, choose another another participant. Sorry. And. <laughs> <laughs> Luis Armando? Oh, Luis is not going to be able to participate. Um, Neither um, Isabel. Roberto Escalante? Roberto! Mr. Roberto, can you hear us? Yes. Great. Nice to share. Great. Nice to I see you. Nice to see you too, teacher. Okay, choose one and give us an example. Um, I am getting over the COVID-19. You are getting over the COVID-19 right now? Okay, wow. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, so get over is to overcome a situation, okay? Good. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Roberto, choose a person. Um, uh, Isabel? Isabel? Oh, no, Isabel cannot participate. Just remember, sorry. Okay, uh, Luis? Luis cannot participate. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> um, Angel. Okay, Angel. Okay, teacher. Um, I am I am a bit over. It was a, it was a very hard day of work. So you're getting over from a very hard day. Yes. Oh wow. Okay, that's that's good to know. I am. Is it is it is it real or is it an example? <laughs> uh, more or less. <laughs> okay, okay, less. okay, okay. One ask mm -hmm. more. I, I will not ask more. Okay, um choose one more and then we continue. We have other phrasal verse to see. Uh, let me see. Um, let me see here. Uh, Gabriel. Okay, Gabriel, choose one. Okay, I try. Mm. I, I can't get along 
with the co-workers in the company. Uh, is that for real or is that an example? Uh, example. Okay, okay, yeah, it was that kind of word. Okay, but the co-workers, but with the partners, yes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry, just kidding. Okay, guys, so um, now you see that get has several meanings several minutes depending on the preposition that it has right so also okay here this is an example of the list that uh, uh you can find in a schoology okay you can download it and um there are hundreds of phrasal verbs hundreds okay so you can try by learning um like the most common ones okay that's how you could do um, as I said, it's in the same place uh, where the um, where the list from yesterday is. Okay, so you can study it and try to see like the most common ones, right? Okay, so now let's try with these ones. Okay, um, these ones are the recommended one to learn. Okay, and they are not that difficult, right? I know that you can do it. Now, help me up here. Okay. Um, let me see, um, Gabriel, choose a partner. Mm. Give me a second. Um, Marina. Okay, Marina. No. Okay, the number two. Oh, we had the number one, Marina. Okay. Can you pass me that spanner? Okay, this is, now I need to uh, tighten up. Okay, oh, by the way, um, I should not, but tighten up. Uh, you got the meaning of tighten up, everybody? No. No, okay, I will tell you only one time in Spanish. You will not repeat it because I should not. Okay, tighten up means apretar. Apretar. Mm -hmm. For example, a twerk. Mm. Tighten up. Okay. Tighten up. Okay. Now, Marina, number two. This workshop is very dirty. Let's. Let's. Um, it was clean now. Let's. Turn up. Turn up. You think it's turned off? I don't know. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. We want to know the meaning, okay? Now, let's ask for help. Someone can help Marina. Don't worry, Marina, don't worry. Clean up. Clean up, clean up. Clean up. very good. Clean yeah. up. It's clean up, okay? So you say, mm -hmm. hey, this workshop is very dirty. Dirty, or for example, my bathroom is very dirty, okay? Let's clean up this place. Number three, Marina, choose a person. Um, Maria. Mousy. Remember to. Remember to switch up the button. Switch. Oh, what happened? Switch up. Okay, very good. To switch off the power. Okay, before you remove the machine. Good. Uh, Mousy, choose another one for the number four. I'm on the cell phone. I can see anybody. Oh, please help me. <laughs> Don't worry. You can choose Patricia. You can choose uh, Manuel, Roberto, Mabel. Uh, you can choose Joanna, Elizabeth. Manuel. <laughs> Manuel. Manuel, number four. Okay. Um, turn off. Turn off. No. Very good. Can you read the sentence? I hope the computer won't turn off again. Turn off again. Okay. No. Turn off again. Repeat. I hope the computer won't. Turn off again. Turn off again. Okay, very good. 
Choose one, choose another person for the number five. Can you see them or I tell you? You have Joanna, Elizabeth. You have also, let me see. You had Monica. Mabel, Patricia. Patricia has not participated. Oh, yes. uh, Patricia. <laughs> okay, Patricia, number five. Um, I think is it size. Oh, size which one? Of, size of or oh, size of sis 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 of or sis of. Sis up. Sis up. Mm -hmm. Sis up. But you, in English, you have the linking sound. So you join the sound. So you say, sis up. Sis up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sis up. Okay. Good. Hey, what so, does it mean, sis up, teacher? Sis the up. meaning of sis up. See? Si? Oh, wow. I, I said it in Spanish one time. <laughs> um, okay. I should not repeat it because I should not use Spanish. Okay, um, sis up. Okay, uh, very quickly, is apretar. Just that. Uh, it, it I think. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. I got confused. <laughs> I got confused. Um, uh, this one is um, sis up is when it something gets stuck. You know the meaning of stuck? A stuck. Ah, exactly. Thank ah, you. Ah, okay. So okay. Cool. Uh -huh. It's stuck and it's like, oh, I, I can't. Remachado. Exactly. It is like, okay, see, so that's how you, you say, if you don't lubricate these type of machines regularly, they will seize up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I got confused to tighten up. Uh, number six. Number six. Let me see. Um, choose one, Patricia. Yeah. I choose Joanna. Joanna? The printer just stopped working. We need to call up a technician. Very good. Call up. Okay. So um, there you go. Now, do you have clear the meaning of all of them? Yes? No? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, now, just remember, like I said, phrasal verbs, um, you need to memorize them. There is no like a structure in which you can say, ah, okay, if I put this, it's going to mean no. Uh, it's memorization, okay? So you have to study them, put them into practice, use them in your vocabulary, and um, you will know. Okay, I have a reading practice for you. Okay, but I think it's gonna take you a while, but let's see if we can make it, okay? So, it's a reading comprehension that is uh, from the same lesson. Okay, but this time, uh, because of the, it's a reading, I will let you do it alone. Okay, let me stop here, sharing. And I will give you, I think that in 10 minutes you can work on it, okay? It's to practice comprehension. I'm going to paste the link. Here you go. And I'm going to paste it also in WhatsApp. Give me a second. WhatsApp. In chat? chat? Yes, in WhatsApp chat. Oh, why I never paste it when I do it like that? There you go. Okay. Let's try with that one. Okay. Um, 10 minutes. You just have to write true or false. 
Just that, true or false? Jen. Yes? Can you send the link here? I, I put it there, this, it does not appear? No. Oh, I send it directly to Luis, I don't know why. <laughs> Only to reason this is not participating. Sorry, my bad. There you go. Oh, thank you, Gabriel. Gabriel put it there too. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I will share this so you can see how much time is left.
Oh, great job, Joanna. 10 out of 10. Also, Elizabeth, very good. Great. That's good reading comprehension. Good, another one, Sergio, great job. Also, Christian, excellent. That is my feel of work, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so you feel identified with that one? Yes, yes. Okay, good, I'm receiving more, Luis. Oh, great, Luis. You could do it. Excellent. Okay, we just got three minutes. Got another one, Gabriel, great. Another one, Patricia, great job. Okay, in time, 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 it's just one minute and then we have to continue. How do you feel the reading? Easy, difficult? Let me see. But another one, Angel, excellent. So who was it? Easy, difficult, the reading? How do you feel it, guys? So, so? I think 
some of the words are, are new for, for us to hmm? That's good to learn new vocabulary also and for reading comprehension. Jose, great Jose. Great job. And okay, time is over. For the ones who have not finished, um, well, you can continue, but we have to continue with the class. Okay. Um, so now what are we gonna do? This is what we're going to work on right now. Um, I'm asking you for two sentences with phrase solvers, okay? Writing, let's practice writing in the chat, in WhatsApp. It can be in WhatsApp. Write two sentences using phrase solvers. You can use any of the phrase solvers um, that we have seen, right? You can use phrase solvers with get, or I can show you the past ones. Okay, phrase solvers with these ones, okay? or you can use with this one, or you can use with this one. Okay, two sentences. Let's check the writing. It says problems with the internet, but I will return to classes. That's mousy. Oh, wow, that's bad. Okay, like mousy, if you can hear us, that's okay. Okay, two sentences with three servers. Let's see. I think that she entered. By the way, a commercial while you are working, please don't forget the homework. I send the homework teacher. Great. Because tomorrow I'm going to be checking all the homeworks that I have received. Oh, that's no, it's Marina. <laughs> okay, so good job, Marina. Okay, Christian, you know my name. Look at the number. <laughs> okay, that's a strong. But it's good. Uh, this place is very dangerous. Get away from here. Okay, very good, Christian. Thank you, teacher. Hey, have you ever used that one? You know my name? Look at the number. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a phrase of a, of a song. Ah, okay, good. Didn't know that. Of a song of the Beatles. Okay. Ah, uh, that's why. Uh, it says, Angel, today I got up very early in the morning, okay? I do not give up my, with my English studies, okay? That's the good thing. Never give up. You know, this is about practice. Even us as teachers, uh, we don't know everything. We still have to um, look up some words, vocabulary, uh, sometimes it's doctors, right? So this is continuing learning. Joanna, I get along with, okay, you can say Joanna, with my boss. I will sit down at first row in the concert. Okay, good one. Okay, just that one, um, Joanna. I will get along. I get I get along with my boss. Mousy, my sister told me that she wants to get along with this boy. Ooh, okay. My friend. Okay, is missing there, Mousy. My friend is is getting over for her mother lost. L O S T, lost. Okay. But the first one I like it. Hasta una carita así como. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. Gabriel says, I woke up early this Sunday to go. Okay. Si ya lleva el tu, ya no lleva four. To go uh, to the market with my mother. Good. I dress up to go to my job. Okay. To go to my job. Good. Uh, Elizabeth, my boss, dress up for the business dinner. I grew up mm, to my worker this year. Oh, it depends. What do you want to say in that one, Elizabeth? I grew up. Like I developed the to my my co-work. Oh, like um, you mean like a trainer? Okay, like I'm not sure if I I can use this phrase phrasal verb to this example. Um, but I try to understand what you want to say because crecí con mi compañero este año. Mm, mm -mm. It's like my word is that my coworker won't grow up. Que mi compañero crezca. Can you tell me, sorry, can you tell me the phrase in Spanish? Es como yo desarrollé a mi compañero. Ah, okay. You are a trainer? Um, before. Okay. Um... Maybe I develop, because in this case, está desarrollando. I develop my partner's skills this year or my co-worker's skills. Mm -hmm. okay. So or the other context would be like, I grew up, but as a person, crecí como persona. Or I, I, grew, up, I grew up in this neighborhood, okay, for example. But yeah, mm -hmm. in that context, it would be better developed. Okay. If I want to use these phrasal ver verbs with this example, but uh, using to my coworker uh, like the subject, I I say my coworker grown up. In past grew up. Mm -hmm. In past, yes, my coworker grew up. A lot this year. Creció okay. mucho este año. Mm -hmm. Thank in, that, you. in that case, yes. Um, let's see. Mabel, today I wake up at 10 a.m. I will get away for the party. I, <laughs> okay, I feel boring. Okay, you say I feel, um, I feel bored. No boring, bored. Because if you say boring, you are the boring. Si dice boring, usted es la aburrida. No es que está aburrida. So, it's bore. Okay? So, that's why. So, you don't say anymore, guys. Don't say anymore. I'm boring. Because if you say that, it's yo soy el aburrido. Okay. Um, let me see. And Roberto, I will get ahead at English class with my homework. I will... Okay, it's missing there, Roberto. Um, I will get away from the house in 20 minutes. Okay, me alejaré de la casa. I will get away. Okay, uh, let us continue. Okay, guys, um, I hope that I see that not everybody could write the example, but we have to continue. Okay, so next one. Let's practice with um, some speaking. Okay, so use five phrasal verbs. Say what you do on a weekend, Friday to Sunday, okay? What you usually do on a weekend, Friday to Sunday, okay? But using phrasal verbs, trying to include the phrasal verbs in what you are saying, okay? Um, for example, hey, uh, well, on Fridays, um, on Fridays, I dress up all the time at night because I go out with my friends. And then on Sunday, I wake up at 9 a.m., right? I sleep a lot. Then um, Saturdays in the afternoons and you continue like that, okay? So um, I will give you for this just five minutes, okay? 
You will go with your partners. Oh, I know that some of you cannot participate. Um, so the ones who cannot talk right now in the meeting, uh, don't enter to the rooms, okay? If you cannot talk. Let's see. Okay, let me see Mabel, I will send you to another one. I will send you with Gabriel to the number two. Okay, Sergio, you are with Isabel, but I will send you with another one because Isabel cannot get connected to the room number four. Okay, um, Elizabeth, Joanna, uh, you can participate. Please enter to the meetings. Also, you too, Sergio. Teacher, I cannot enter to the rail room. I don't know why. Wow. Let me reassign you to another one. I can I cannot go to the break room, teacher. Really? You neither? Why? Uh, I I I am in my cell phone. I I I have problem with the connection to the internet. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad, so bad, so bad. Um, I will try to send you the invitation right now and give it a try. It should not be a problem now. Let me see. Can you click in a sec and you move? Would you move, um, Sergio? No? Yes. Okay. Um. Give me a second. Uh. In in the weekend, I remember. Uh, in the weekend. Mm -hmm. e question mark. <coughs> Hi, maybe. Um, in the weekend, weekend, I think. <laughs> I think clean out. <laughs> I think clean up my 
car. <laughs> I clean. I clean up my car. And and you, Mabel. Uh, the, the, the Saturday, I think. Um, look at my. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Mm. ¿Ves? ¿Ves la pantalla? Sí. Sí, vaya. Entonces vamos a ocupar esto. Yo lo voy a hacer un poco más chiquito esto para que no nos cueste. Esto está muy grande esto. Friday, I switch off the light at 9 p.m. Wake up late on Saturdays and I work two hours. Then I go out with some of my friends. I get along with almost of my friends. Yes. Los viernes apago la luz a las nueve. Me levanto tarde los sábados. Me ejercito dos horas, luego salgo con algunos de mis amigos y tengo una buena relación con casi todos mis amigos. ¿Está bien? Sí. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Screenshot, if you want it. What? Screenshot. Um, or yeah. copy the second, the first, the first. Okay. 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 We we get away with a way. Oh, we get up. Oh, I, uh, it is valid to say I can do. Yes, right? Because can is auxiliary, auxiliary, and do is the verb oh, to actually, uh, right? I think, yes. I can do it. I think is is mm, I can do it. Um I teacher um mm, 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 mm. other example uh Uh, Podríamos poner in tomorrow in the afternoon 
I will call up my boss. Mm, for what? For what call off? Because For um, for because yesterday uh, he was hungry, hungry, hungry with me. Mm. For the results, maybe. Yes, yes. Okay. We need three more and two more. Okay, time is up. Let's see. Okay, great. I think that everybody's getting back. Um, hey guys, just one thing. Um, try to put into practice your speaking. I noticed that every time that I send you to the record, I know that is for you to remember but try to be spontaneous also and try to use the speaking, right? Because that's the purpose, to try to practice um, the speaking. But I see that most try to write down um, the things and almost all the time goes in that, right? So try to put into practice the speaking too. But let's see, uh, volunteers to start or I choose? Let me see. Let me choose them. No, teacher. Oh, Roberto? No, teacher, no. I don't finish. <laughs> oh, I thought that you were. Okay, how about Mabel? Ready? <laughs> okay, try to be spontaneous then. We are going to put into practice the speaking, okay? So what you got right now, what you got in this moment, okay? Um, let me see. We can start with Elizabeth, what you got? Who's your partner? You're muted. Teacher, <laughs> my partner is Manuel, but we can uh, complete the exercise. Now, let's try to practice speaking and be spontaneous, okay? We are so, so lost. <laughs> okay. Think about what you do during the weekend and try to use, okay, I told you, um, I told you to use five, but at least try to use two or three, okay? About the things that you do during the weekend, okay? Um, I was telling you guys, okay? Uh, sure. Cuando van a los breakout rooms es para practicar el speaking, entonces traten de practicarlo y espontáneamente, lo que se les venga a la mente es hablar, okay? Porque si he notado que la mayoría trata de escribirlo, which is great para que recuerden, pero la idea es practicar el speaking, right? So try to put into practice. This moment is a good one, okay? Let me see, uh, be okay. spontaneous. Use all you know about English right now. Okay, um, Elizabeth, you can start or you choose someone or you sacrifice someone else. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh... Manuel? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, hi, Manuel. How are you? Hi, Elizabeth. I'm fine. What about you? I'm fine too. So tired for the world, but it's okay. How about the next weekend? You have plans? Um, or 
on this Friday, uh, I, I will study English. I will study English and uh, I will, will look up inform, information to, uh, to do my, my homework. Mm, excellent. No, I don't know how I can do it. <laughs> um uh, doing great I, doing great okay i got out with um any partner like gustavo or joanna maybe to do the homework because i i don't know how i can do it okay it's, it's a, a good idea um on saturday uh, what do you plan? What, what do you plan to, to do on Sunday, on Saturday? Mm, so, all, all my week, uh, I had a lot of things to do at work. So I need, um, think that the Saturday I I clean up my house because um, I can't um, I can't um, sweep my my house okay, <laughs> okay. I mean, that teacher <laughs> I you feel the know. pressure you feel the, you feel the pressure in this moment okay. nah, come on yes. so you did great you did great actually yes okay but just like I told you um be spontaneous, right? When I send you to the breakout rooms, talk, okay? It's about talking, okay? Um, you can do it there for the rest. You can do it like a conversation because it was not a conversation, <laughs> but you can do it like a conversation like Elizabeth and Manuel, or you can say your own plans for the weekends, for the weekend, what you do regularly in the weekend, right? Um, Elizabeth and Manuel, choose the next pair. The trivia okay. is oh, choose you, Manuel. Okay. Um, um, Roberto. Okay, <laughs> Roberto. <laughs> I don't. I didn't finish, teacher. No, don't worry. Right now it's spontaneous. What you got? Uh, okay. We work with. Uh, uh, it's a uh, with my partner. Who was your partner? It's true. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> okay. Who who worked with Roberto? Who worked with me? Don't get high, no se esconda. <laughs> Nobody yeah. work me with me. The, let me check the breakout room right now. Give me a second. <laughs> As a boy or yeah. uh, it was Mousy. No, Maria. No. Yeah, Maria Cruz is one Mousy. Ah, but, okay. Mousy, you there? Hi, <laughs> Mousy didn't want to say anything. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Sorry, but I can I can find the microphone in this. <laughs> okay, like a conversation or you say it individually, you choose. Okay, okay, Marie. Um, what are your plans in on weekend? Do you have a, any uh, do you have any any plans? Oh, we cannot hear you. No, teacher. No, right? I thought that it was only me, but no, we cannot hear you, Mousy. Mari? Hello? Now, yes. Hello. Uh, now, okay. Tomorrow, on Saturday, I will clean up my house. Um before my friends around arrive to visit me and on sunday mm -hmm. um, i will um, 
I will look up more phrasal verbs for no feel like lost like right now and maybe spend more time with my daughter because she grow up really fast. Mm -hmm. And you, Roberto? Um, I am I am far away on my country, but um, when uh, I stay here uh, in El Salvador, I get away to my house. But on Sunday, uh, I I will get around to Aguachapan City to visit my mother. Okay. Probably I probably uh, I went ahead to do my 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 homework tomorrow Saturday, but I I I try to to finish the homework. Okay, good. Remember is to get away this like como irse lejos. Yeah, irse uh, totalmente. Uh -huh. Okay. So okay. that would be a getaway. Okay. Uh good. You see, uh improvising can be difficult, but you can make it. Um, <laughs> let's see, Roberto and Mousy, choose the next pair. We still have Patricia, Gabriel, Mabel, Angel, Sergio. Sergio. Okay, Sergio. I knew that it was going to be you. <laughs> Okay, este, my partner was uh, uh, We know Sergio. Okay, who was Sergio's partner? <laughs> Me. Okay, Joanna, that means that you can talk about your own weekend. Okay. Joanna? Yes, I am here. Okay. okay. Because I put off my homework all this time, I will do it. Also, the Sunday, I will clean out my room with music because it's easy for the week. And to do it right, I'm going to turn up the music. Okay. Um, I will try to work out for all the pupusas that I ate in the week. <laughs> okay. Uh, for me, uh, Saturday is a rest day. I will wake up late tomorrow. After that, I will make up my bed. And, and the Sunday, I will go visit uh, to my parents. That is my plans, plans for the end weekend. Okay, good. It's really good. You see, not that difficult, right? Kind of like freaking out, but you can make it. Okay, great. Um, let me see. We still have time for one more. Um, Sergio and Joanna, choose uh, the last victims. I mean, the last participants. Uh, go ahead, Joanna. We had Angel, you Marina, choose... Mabel, Gabriel, Patricia. Okay, Angel. Angel. Who was your partner? Hello, teacher. Uh, my partner uh, was uh, uh, Patricia. Okay, go ahead. Mm. Okay, Patricia. Do you have a plans for 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 Sunday? And then for Sunday, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I I think maybe 
in the morning I go out uh, to Ciclovia with my my pets and my sister. And in the afternoon I I think sleep. And my plans for tomorrow uh, is I wake up very early uh, because I have to go out and uh, make my deliveries. And then I try to get up my time. Um, I think in the afternoon, uh, bring along makeup for order for my my clients, and in the night I think go out with my family. It's it's all my my plans maybe. In you, Angel, what is your plan for the week? In in my case, uh, in my case, I, I have I have to to get up very very early in the morning because I have to work in the morning on, on Saturday. Um, and after that, I I have, I have to to take a take a shower. Um, I I have to to dress up. My, my clothes and also I I, I have to, to to get it my my breakfast and after that I I get out get out get out to to my my work and I I work uh, from the 8 to, to 12 p.m and after that, I have to to come back my my house. I for share with my family. Only that. Okay, great. So you say I have to dress up. Okay, for the meeting, for example. Dress up. Dress up. Only dress up. Okay. Uh, Patricia, pronunciation. You say plans. Plans. Planes. No. Plans. plans. Okay. Plans. Planes. Son planicies. Right. So, okay. It's a plans. Okay. Uh, guys, just one thing before you leave. Yeah, tres minutitos. Nos pasamos. Okay. Um, please, please try to uh, be spontaneous, right? Siempre que vayamos al breakout room, remember is um, not for you to write. Okay. I have told you before, it is for you to try speaking, right? Try to speak. Okay. Like the way you did it here. Okay. Directly. Hey, Patricia. Um, hello. Tell me about your weekend. What are your plans? Okay, and spontaneously go and say in it, okay? Uh, because if you write it, um, it's good because it's helping you to remember, but that's not the purpose, right? So uh, for future ones, let's try it like that. Please don't forget the homework. Try to do it, okay? Tomorrow I start checking all the homework assignments. Um, and I will see you on Monday. Ya solo nos queda prácticamente como una semana y tres días, creo. Si no me equivoco. I have to verify. Porque sí, terminamos como el 5 de octubre, pero se nos ha alargado un día por el 16. Terminaríamos el 6. Okay, so we are like very close to finish. Okay, so please try not to miss classes. Okay, have a great weekend. Okay, descansen. Espero que descansen y pues pasen tiempo con su familia. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, bye, bye. Thank bye you, bye teacher. teacher. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Monday. Okay. Have a good night.